brothers and sisters in Christ. Past 30 minutes in broadcast. Psalms 71, verse number 4. Um, that's where we kind of stopped off last time, but I don't want to read that too much again. I got stuck on that the other night. Deliver me, O God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. There's an old song that goes, uh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. That's true. There's not actually one person that can do you like Jesus. <laughs> you know what I mean? Brothers and sisters in Christ, let me say that Jesus Christ is not some figment of an imagination. He's not some bypass or foregone conclusion or some Greek mythology or whatever. This Jesus Christ of Nazareth is real. Okay? It, but how do I say this? You and I know that we have become customarily uh, programmed to the experimental aspect of the entertainment of traditional uh, uh, traditional expectations of us. <laughs> so we, we play the fiddle with the traditions of our expectation of what is to become of us. And we perform. But we really don't know. How many people do you think? Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to take one hand and name five people that you know that reads the Bible every day and pray. Just one hand. Okay, I, I understand. I know, where it's, I know where you started at, and I know where it ended at. It started with, well, my, my, maybe my mama, or maybe my dad, or maybe some bishop, or something like that. And then it ended with you. Well, I do, or maybe I do, or maybe I don't. See? Some people even would read the daily devotional. Now, believe it or not, that's better than nothing. But that would be they do benevolence for the day. I, I used to read them all the time. <laughs> you know, Monday through Friday, to see what the little story was. And I'm going to be honest with you, half the time of reading those things, I would be just as slap disappointed as I could be. I would be just as disappointed as I'd go down and read the scripture. And some of them I wouldn't be. But the stories didn't mesh with my life. They didn't, they didn't match. They wasn't me. They, they didn't speak to me. You know what I mean? They spoke to other people, but not to me. All right? So all of that counts in the makeup of moving forward in God's will and in his word. Okay? For thou art my hope, O Lord, God. Thou art my trust from my youth. Behold, he goes on to say, by thee have I been holding up from my, from my womb, and thou took me out of my mother's bowels, and my praise shall continually uh, be, and I shall praise thee continually, uh, shall be continually of thee. I am as a wonder unto many, and, uh, and, but thou art a strong refuge, thou art my strong refuge. We're in Psalms, okay? We're in Psalms 71 and in verse number 8. 
let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the days. This is where we stopped off. Cast me not off in the time of old age. You see that? Well, even, even the old fella saying, God, you ain't got no more use for me, but don't, don't just kill me and get rid of me. Let me sit around the house and then enjoy a pipe and watch the chicken and raise a pig or two, you know what I mean? Brothers and sisters in Christ, have y'all noticed how long people are living? People are living a long time, right? You and I are not going to want anyone to cast us off in old age. I feel so sorry, but thankful for the nursing home. And I just wish that greed would allow the people to take care of the people. But greed will not do it in a nursing home or no other facility. Greed just won't let them do it. Greed will, not <laughs> greed will not let them do it. Greed won't even let the restaurant fix you a decent hamburger. You can't... Uh, uh, I, uh, I done boycott, I'm boycotting Big Macs. I'm asking y'all not to buy no more Big Macs until they fix that meat on that hamburger, until they get rid of that piece of thin slice of bologna, okay, that they got on the Big Mac. They, I'm boycotting that. But you need someone to take care of you in old age. And greed is what has a whole lot of nursing homes facility, health care facilities, just got those people messed up because one person cannot take care of 20 and 25 people but that's what many are more assigned to do and I understand it perfectly so you don't want God to cast you off in your old age that's why it would be good to have children that love you that would take care of you and make sure that they don't put their mother or father nowhere that they don't want to go. I'm asking y'all to pray for me because I already know what's going to happen. My children are going to throw me into a dump pile and say, to hell with you, daddy. Bye. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the way I literally feel, except one. I got one that I'm trying to get to help me in case I get old. But the rest of them, <laughs> The hell with you, daddy. You were too good of a daddy for us. The hell with you. You were just too good of a daddy. We ain't studying you. I know I got some that showing up leave me for dead. They, they done left me for dead now. Please. Here it goes. I talk about it. You know I tell you? I don't care. I ain't studying nobody. I ain't studying. And thank God. You know what I thank God for? That manipulating witchcraft spirits don't run me no more. I thank God that he going to get rid of all of those spirits that think, that think they can manipulate his process. He going to get rid of those spirits. That's, that you better believe. He going to get rid of every spirit that done came into my life that think they can run his will in my life. God going to get rid of them because he been cutting them out. He said, that's why I had to get rid of others before, because you could never tell the truth by trying to please other folks. Now you ain't have, now, now look at what the devil trying to do. Still don't want you telling. I'm going to tell it. Going to tell it. Going to tell it. <laughs> I'm going to tell it. I have no other choice. Been telling it. Just didn't have no help. Well, I feel sorry for some of y'all out there, that's for sure. Here it is. I mean that too. Here it is. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Verse number nine. Forsake me not when my strength faileth. God oh, is scary. It is so scary. I mean, but old people nowadays tough. 
90 years old, 95 years old, still driving and still smooching. They sure is. Some old smooching sisters out there still driving. Them old fellas still got a little something going on. For mine enemies speak against me. Love and prayer. This man is praying that God would help him, deliver him. Why? Because he loved God. He is showing you, for mine enemies speak against me. <laughs> Lord Jesus, help me. And they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together. Now, I don't want to talk about that because you and I know that it's true that if you fail as a Christian, the church folks get on the hell of a phone and they communicate talking about a certain event, person, whatever, and they rejoice and feed themselves with praises and adoration at the failure of the flesh-eating, satanic, demonic order of their hatred of their Christian so-called themselves brothers and sisters in Christ. So they really do rejoice to see the failure. There is such a lie that is in the earth now until Father, something happened that terrified me again. And I heard this on Yes Did It, matter of fact. <laughs> yes Did It. That's yesterday. While veering the uh, nation in their ways of evil. And I heard as one of the greatest evils of the world was speaking to his satanic followers. I heard the Lord say to me that uh, truth is not relevant. He said to me something that scared me. He said, in your time now, a lie is the truth. And I know you're religious. <laughs> I know what you just said. Turn that TV. Get him out of here. A lie can never be the truth. Ha, shout out. I know your religion just wearing you out. Your religion killing you with that ignorant. Reli that's that ignorant religion. Listen to me again. I'm going to tell you what I heard and what is true and what is happening in today's time, even with you that's in denial. Father, speck it mit mir, tran it mir, ish, it. He said to them, to the world in the time that you are in now a lie has become a lie is the truth for all of us he said Satan would think to change times and laws. And men, hearts would fail them because of fear. And they would rather believe a lie than the truth. And what he showed me is that any leader can lie about anything with no truth and the people accept the lie as the truth. That's the nation we're living in. Y'all 
have no idea. You best pray. You're done for. Especially you black women with these babies. Them white sisters going to eat y'all alive. And those medical doctors are going to watch your seed die. Because we are living in a lying, systematic fools who have and have not lie, lying, truth nation. That's where you are. You can forget about the word truth, even from your pulpit, even from your pastor. They don't, you can forget that because Jesus showed me to where the whole world is filled with the acceptance of believing and receiving lies rather than truth. You. You got you to gotta try to stay healthy. Now, I myself personally, I, I mean, I don't even count. I'm just pitiful with hawk moths and chicken. You got to try to stay sane. You got to try to keep your wits. Because this thing is going to spin. And it's going to spiral. Because the majority of those people that are full of hatred and racism in living the truth of that lie. They work in your systems for themselves and against others that they hate. Love and prayer. God showed me something. Scared me so bad. He said, run. Run. Hide. He said, because they're going to kill you, and they're going to kill everything. He said, they are coming like never before. But y'all don't see it. He said, go and pray. Love and pray. That's all you can do now. Because the demons done took over. They done overrode, you see. And y'all know this. And you don't want to hear me say this. But have you noticed that the church is back to the same old thing? All about what? That's right. Money. <laughs> I can tell. Here it is. Here it is. Um, verse number 10. For mine enemies speak against me, and they lie in wait, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together. Now, I talked about that on the other night. We're not dealing with this. I don't want to talk about it no more. You already know that you got people that's going to speak against you, talk against you, looking for you to fall, want to see you dead. That I mean, that would be the best thing for them. That would be the best thing for so many people is to see certain people just die. I mean, that would just be the greatest thing in the world for them. And a lot of them are Christian people, okay? That's just all there is to it. That's just, that's just the way it is. I mean, that's just the way it is, <laughs> you know? Saying, God have forsaken him. What are they doing? This guy's praying. Lord, you know I love you. But there are people out there that are saying, now these are Christians. Or these are your, I don't know who they, I don't know what they are, but they're saying, you done forgot about that person, and God done left that one off. You know, like old wildebeest out in the field. All the other wildebeest done ran off. This real beast got a little hurt leg, but it ain't broke. And he just limping a little slow, but if he can get back, he can make it. They said, well, that's, that's what God done did. Left, left you out there in the field with a little limp, 
and now the lions are coming in, the hyenas, you, you're going to die because they're going to eat you and kill you. He's saying, Lord, don't, don't let that happen. Don't, don't let them finish me off like that. I know how this man feels. If you've never been left for dead, you don't ever want to be left for dead. You know, I've seen people that told me, they left you for dead. And I looked at them and said, they told you the same lie that they told everybody else. They're like, man, you're looking good. I'm like, yeah, they told you the same lie, didn't they? Okay, that's all there is to it. That, that, that's just going to give it to you straight. That's all there is to it. <coughs> Saying, God hath forsaken him. Persecute and take him. For there is none to deliver him. You got that right. There is none to deliver him. Nobody but God. Look at what he's saying. Oh God. Be not far from me. Oh my God. Make haste for my help. Pray. Love. Help. When you're in trouble and you call 911, you want the police to show up as soon and as fast as possible, don't you? Same thing here. He's saying, God, make sure that you're not far away when the, you know, with that police car. When I call, get around the corner. Life in the Bible. Reality. Done for. Done for. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Now it's getting a little rough, isn't it? I think I need to stop reading that. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. Know what he's saying? Basically. While he's praying this. And he's saying, God, let let, let, what God is really saying to you is that this about basically is what's going to happen to them if they keep messing with you. See, he's saying let it be, but God is saying it will be. They're going to be confounded and confused and consumed. Many it doesn't happen. That are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. In other words, let them be ashamed that they can't get blessed the way they want to get blessed. All because they desire to see my destruction. Some people haven't gotten blessed the way God wants to bless them because they too busy trying to kill you. If they stop trying to kill you, God will go ahead on and bless them. You see? And I, and I know that for a fact. I know it for a fact. I've seen people throughout my life curse me to hell and back. Couldn't get nothing. Make contact. Forgive and pray. And next thing you know, Everything is coming in on their behalf. Why? Because they're the release. It's been broken. A flow can take place again. All right? And that's what you want. You don't want to be in position to where, you know, can't not move because you got something in you that's jealousy or whatever against somebody else. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. <coughs> so while you're going through, praise God. While you're going through it, give God glory. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness in thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. In other words, I can't stop blessing you even in my old age of how good you've been. 
I can't stop praising you. Some folks, <laughs> they get up and praise God for a showcase. Oh, you know, I'm about to, whatever. But <laughs> as the little lady said, there was a $3 bill. Let it be real. Let it be real. <laughs> Boy, she's faking a $3 bill. But you've got to let it be real. There are some things in life that God will bless you with just because he's pleased at your walk with him. You don't even have to ask God for it. Just walk up right before him. Just please him. Just do good. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Y'all, I feel a supernatural release. I feel a Holy Ghost pour out. And, I, I, and, a, and a Holy Ghost showdown while we throwing down. Because I immediate release, immediate. It, it can be an immediate healing. Oh God. Oh God, Jesus. And I'm see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> see, when 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 Jesus said, "Who touched me?" and they said, "Lord, the, the, the crowd thronging thee and all around thee." And how is it that you said, who touched you? Everybody's around you. And Jesus said, someone touched me. Because I felt the virtue go out of me from me. Well, I know that experience personally, almost on a daily basis. And what's happening to me right now the reason the struggle is so hard is because virtue is going out of me. And it is hitting maybe one person maybe, but they are zapping that power and it's making me weak and weak because of the reception of that word. So this is why I get so frustrated is because I don't like to see distorted, misused, or taken for granted virtue. See, that's why I don't waste time laying hands on people because I used to lay hands on people and say, you know, uh 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 no 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 uh 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 no there he is there it, uh, uh there it is again nope nah, uh, you're not getting that nah, nope no put my hand back and say go sit down get 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 your bug on that get get your dry leaf seed you 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 you, you don't want none but to kill the pastor this ain't no sponge Bob last verse. It is. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day. For I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord. You need to remember this verse. Verse number 16. Psalm 71 in closing. I will go in the strength of the Lord. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous work. Last verse. Now also when I am old and gray-headed. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Wait, forgive me. I'm closing, Minister. Hold on. Now, also, when I am old and gray headed, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, God, forsake me not until I have shown thy strength unto this generation and thy power to everyone that is to come. And that's the only reason. I can think of that God is keeping me around to talk to all these young people. 
to show them the strength, the strength to this generation that is to come. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this old gray-headed old baboon, Papa Smurf, Santa Claus going to get out your way. And that's my time, and I'd like to thank you for yours. Repeat after me and say, Father, I'm a sinner. Forgive me for my sins. And I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. That's my time. Thank you for yours. I'll see you guys on tomorrow night. And I am so glad <laughs> to get out from under all these bright lights. Y'all have a safe weekend. Love you too. This is...